So I didn't want to make this video at first because there's pretty much no reason, but if you have a boxer fracture or a carpal tunnel or anything like that and you're interested in an uh, alternative keyboard, um, I'm here to tell you that this is a pretty good option. And uh, I was kind of disappointed at first uh, with the Kickstarter being so delayed and uh, having to wait several months for the keyboard. I almost didn't think I was going to get it. But if you looked at the layout here in this picture, it, it clearly shows that your hands are not going to be moving as much. You're, you're going to be uh, pressing keys a little bit more ergonomically. And the shift key is really what got me interested and I'll get into that later. But if you do end up buying this keyboard, I'm just going to give you some words of wisdom on uh, my experience in the past couple of weeks of using this keyboard. So let's get started. Uh, pretty much if you do buy this keyboard, you're going to have to fight your muscle memory a little bit because you're going to be changing positions of the buttons, obviously. Your muscle memory is going to want to use the backspace button when there isn't one in the normal spot or like the into keys in the middle, but all of that goes away if you just give yourself a weekend. Uh, for me, I kind of thought about placing little strips of tape on buttons so it would kind of help give you an idea where the buttons are without having to look down all the time. But as far as gaming, this keyboard honestly fits like a glove. If you use V for knife like I do in Rainbow, you might want to use those buttons um, in a little bit different way. So I would move those keys to the right because your your hand is going to be sitting a little bit more wider than it was before. And with that said, your biggest changes on this keyboard is going to be your backspace button. It's going to be your space bar, your shift key, and your enter keys. You might accidentally hit your enter key on the right end when you shift sometimes just because uh, the shift key is a little bit smaller. That just comes with time. And experience uh, to fix that. I'm, I'm pretty much past that. I know there's a couple of times where I accidentally misfired my messages of people and uh, they were just like incomplete and they were kind of wondering like what the hell man. But uh, honestly I'm making this video just because uh, I, I need people to know that this is a really good alternative for people who have a box or fracture in their left hand and, uh, and it cramps a lot or if you get carpal tunnel like I do. That this keyboard helps me because the shift button is smaller and it's more accurate. You can apply the same pressure every single time. And it, even if you wanted to, you could use this keyboard off the edge of your table instead of using your forearm because the, the keys are so close to the edge and they're they're just shaped almost, I want to I wanna say like a controller feels in your hand because the buttons are just there, right? When you put your hand down, the buttons are right where you think they would be. And for me, the shift key was the best change just simply because it was smaller and you didn't have to apply the same pressure because when you're playing a video game and, and you're, you're running around and you're hitting shift like every half of a second that, you know, I, I tend to hit the outside of my shift key, so I'm making movements that I don't need to make. So when you keep your pinky in the same place over and over again, it's far superior. Uh, but my only pet peeves about this keyboard would be there's no volume or play and pause keys and the USB cable will kind of sticks out. Like, I kind of feel... Like they could have designed that better in the way that it can tuck into the inside of the keyboard body than just sticking out where it can bend or break or something like that. But anyways, I hope this video helps. Um, I didn't want to make this video at first, but I figured that somebody else may have broken their hand and was looking at this keyboard as well. So I just want to say that this is a really good alternative for editing and uh, I haven't tried the wrist pad. It, those are optional. You could also get a number pad with this keyboard. I purchased mine for about, uh, I think it was $140 on the Kickstarter. That could be the price currently. But as far as uh, extra features, you're not going to see too many on this keyboard. But for gaming wise uh, and ergonomics, this is the best keyboard I've ever used. Uh, anyways, hopefully this video helps. Thanks for watching.